today's video, we're checking out my new Mizuno 919 forged irons. Full review, let's do it. All right, these things, I, you may have seen me in a few videos playing these guys, but uh, we're doing kind of a, a full review today of these new irons. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. All the products and gear I use, uh, there are links in the description below and some discounts for stuff, so be sure to check out all those things down below. All right? Ah, now I've got these Mizunos. I used to play Mizunos exclusively. I had the blades, I had a combo set, I've had the MP33s, MP32s, the uh, 68, I've had a bunch of them. And then I went over to Titleist for a while and I was using the AP2s. I have a couple of those here. We're gonna go side by side comparison so you can see the difference. And uh, man, I really like what Mizuno has done with these uh, JPX. This is the forged set. They have a tour and then they have a hot metal, but I went with the forged, it's got a little cowdy back in that thing. It's got a 1025 boron. Uh, steel, I don't even know what that means, but uh, it feels nice. So we'll let's get let's get into. Uh, well, have a look at the clubs first. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna compare my new Mizunos, the JPX 919s, to my old Titleist AP2 714s, okay? Similar, a little dirty. I've been hitting them for a little bit. Give me a little workout. Uh, I have my, uh, my swing caddy set up, so it's gonna give me some numbers so I know exactly what's going on with the two of these guys. And what I was looking for I was looking for a little bit more distance out of my irons because I felt like I was kind of losing some. And then I'm also, you know, I'm looking for a little bit softer feel. And I feel like with the with the boron that they're putting in here and the way they uh, forge these clubs, I, it, it's a much softer feel. So that's something that w w immediately when I hit it, I really like that feeling. And, uh, and then I wanted that a little bit more distance. So my old seven, it was going like 160, 165 max. And now with my new, I'm getting like 175. So I'm picking up 10 yards a club pretty consistently. So uh, that's something I like. But I'm gonna uh, hit them for you guys so you can kind of see the difference. And we'll just start off with the uh, seven iron. Let's zoom out. So that's three right out of the gate, right with the JPX. Super, super solid and soft feel, which I love. And that ball flight is just a nice, it's not too high, it's not too like penetrating ball flight. Uh, very great feel, love it. So now I'm gonna hit my old seven and just kind of give you a comparison in terms of distance. The lofts are the same in both of these clubs. You know, the, the lofts on the JPX, let's, the pitching wedge is 46 degrees, and my pitching wedge and my old set is 46 degrees. And so it matches throughout the bag. So that's something I really like. It's not like they de-lofted them for them to go farther. They're the same loft, and they just, they just go. So that's something that I'm really like, because I'm happy with the trajectory of both of the of this, my old one, and then I hit this. The trajectories were the same. It wasn't like one went higher, lower than the other. They both went about the same. One just carried, went up 10 yards farther. That's a big deal. It's a big deal out there. 
So now I just go through my bag, hit a few shots with a um, with kind of you know different clubs, so you can get an idea of kind of the distance. Obviously, it's going to be different for each person, um, but for me, I'm picking up at least a club uh, more distance with these versus my old set. So I'm pretty pretty excited, and the feel is a lot softer. So it's uh, it's a great feel off the club face, and I really really am digging that. really kind of opened up a whole new selection of opportunities for me which I really really like and uh, what I did was I got the dynamic gold s300 shafts the swing weight is 105 grams so there it's a heavier shaft I was using the XP 95s before so I'm able to go do a heavier shaft more control of my swing more feel in my swing and hit the ball a lot farther you would think a lighter shaft would get you faster club head speed not in reality. Here, I'm able to take a nice smooth swing and still get great distance, more than before. So, I'm loving that. Also had a chance to take these out on the course. And what I found was, uh, yeah, it took a minute to get used to the distance, but I was able to hit draws. On one of the holes, I hit a nice little seven iron draw, right, put it like 10 feet from the hole, missed the birdie putt, but that's, that's not the JPX fault. That's Mr. Shortcut's fault. And just the confidence level of being able to hit the shot, the distance I need, and with a smooth swing, forget it. I was working it left to right, right to left, and the confidence for me, I'm like, oh, I can hit this nine iron 140 yards with a cut now. No big deal. And I just, my swing, I wasn't going for any extra. It was just smooth. And the feel is great. Even the miss hits feels pretty good, and I still get great distance out of an off-center hit. So that is something that is, uh, is, was really lacking in my game, and I, it's finally back, so I'm excited. So, I don't know, give it a check out. I, I'm using the JPX 919s. They have a tour model, they have a hot metal model, they've got a, a bunch of other models. Links are in the description below. Hope you like it. A little kind of review of their new irons, which I'm absolutely, absolutely in love with. So, hope this is helpful. You know, if you're kind of on the fence of what to buy, what not to buy, you know, do your checkout, get fitted. Mine are fit for me, two degrees flat, you want to have your lie angle adjusted, so make sure that's something that you get looked at and ha you know, go hit them first to make sure you like them, all right? So, thanks for watching. I love you guys. As always, peace out. I'll see you in the next video.